Hey there, everyone. This is Aokao, and today is December 4th, and, uh... I mean, it's broken. There's one, two more for a linear progression. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Oh, that... Okay, like, as soon as I see this, I'm like, oh, well, yeah, that... That makes sense. Especially coming from Crow slash Kazooie. Banjo 3, finally. Yeah, Cavern of Dreams. Uh, uh, they've been talking up that game a lot, which is basically, no, yeah, you want a modern banjo kazooie? Here you go, Cavern of Dreams. Embark on a magical quest, that's Flynn the Dragon! To rescue your unhatched siblings from the mysterious Cavern of Dreams in this N64 style 3D platformer, gain new abilities, meet unique characters, solve puzzles, and beware of the mysterious villain. Beware. Alright, well, official launch, Tyler. Tyler? Tyler's official lunch. That's what it looks like. I mean, no, yeah, that does look like N64. That, like, that outright looks like a rare N64 game. Like, being real. Wearing their influence on their sleeves. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, get that fish! Alright, gotta feed this baby some mushrooms. Gotta press the switch. Oh no, is that gonna change the thing today? Oh, I love that weird sock contraption tube. What is going on? Blow up that wall, bridge. I will say, like they've nailed the look. And I feel like they've nailed the, f like even though, whoa, that was an effect though. Like I can't say that they've nailed the feel because I cannot play it, but the way this is running, Makes it feel like I can feel it feeling like an N64, if that makes sense? Barely. But those are my thoughts right now. Like, no, real for real though, no, yeah. Uh, I feel like... My positioning of the trailer in the video is getting worse every time, every day. It's just, my placement just doesn't make any sense. Oh, but thank you! Thank you, Kazooie! For Cave of Dreams, for real though. Like, you've been hyping it up, and like, yeah, it has been making me pretty excited. This is the first time I actually saw the trailer, though, and still had no, yeah, like, it lives up to it. Like, it looks fantastic. Hey there, Rao Cow, I was gonna get you the Apogee throwback pack, which has the original DOS version of all three, but you're gonna get Rot. But if you're gonna get Rot, you deserve the remaster. Scott's Mystical Head. Or Sci-Fi Tweet 270. Blake Stone, Aliens of Gold. So, like, that's, uh... An apogee game, I guess. Blake Stone, Aliens of Gold. Wolfenstein 3D took you into the past, thrusting you into World of War. Blake writes into the future. I don't know if I know of this. Blake has more of everything. So, it's, um... Yeah, look at that. It's a three-pack. So, there's Blake Stone, there's Planet Strike... And there's Rise of the Triad, Ludicrous Edition. So it's like three, um... So it's like three, like, old FPS's, but made to run on, like, actual, like, new computers? I'm just gonna go ahead and add all of them right now, because this might get complicated. I say, just saying absolute nonsense. Uh, I don't look at that yet. <laughs> so yeah, Blake Stone, Blake Stone. Oh well, I guess I'm here too. I thought that I had to provide context so don't comment on Guardian. <laughs> okay. The corridor sent combat a hostile takeover of Earth. I mean, I'll accept that just right now, right then, right here. Maybe, I don't know if that's a good idea. Rise of the Triad, I'd kind of, Okay, well, let's look up if I can find something about Blake Stone. Yeah, um... Is one of them Aliens of Gold? Yeah, one of them is Aliens of Gold. Okay. That is, yeah, that is like old 3D Realm. This trailer's from when? Nine years ago. Available now! Medic! Wow, I mean... I played Half-Life 2, I played Half-Life Remake, 
Maybe I should delve further and further down the history of FPSs. Uh, that does look pretty bad. I mean, yeah, like it looks like Wolfenstein, but a little bit less Auschwitz and a little bit more sci-fi. Uh, I don't know what's up with the walls there. They're like bleeding clay. You kind of don't want to use that for sculpting. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I mean, this is what it is, and I mean, there is something really fascinating about, like, speedy old FPSs. I did play a little bit of the original Wolfenstein, like, gonna be real here. So, playing a semi-Wolfenstein from the same company, honestly, I am intrigued. And I just, I never heard of this. Blake Stone. Two Blake Stones and Rise of the Triad. I'm gonna consider, like, if I'm gonna play them, I'm gonna consider that, like, a trilogy of sorts. I don't know if that's correct, but that is what I'm gonna do. The other game that you sent was Corridor 7, Alien Invasion. Oh, that seems to be in a very similar uh, vibe, doesn't it? Um, which one is the real one? I don't know. Uh, that one has more views, so maybe it's more real? I mean, they're all real. Oh, jeez. There's a chair off his chair, watch out! Uh, well, why'd you do that? Idiot, astronaut, super science idiot. Oh, look at the wall texture. Welcome to the salad. <laughs> oh, this looks trippy. Oh, this is, uh, this is tugging at my brain matter. Is that a map we're seeing in the corner that just looked like a computer chip? <laughs> I think it is a map. I think it is. With bleepies being like enemies or power-ups or something. Oh no! <laughs> Blue wax was granted though. Okay. Okay, no, I am the- SHUT DOWN! The portal! That's a face, that's not a port. I guess a portal- I guess my face is a portal to my insides, if you're gonna look at it that way. Corridor 7. Yeah, so, just what we were talking about, but like, way trippier. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that that is that that is touching me. That is oh yeah no that is stimulating my brain juice. It's going oh what is going on here? And I'm like no oh, yeah no kidding huh? And uh, well there you go. Thank you thank you thank you um thank you one per game <laughs> and thank you again Kazooie. Uh, no, yeah, uh, that looks like, like, I, it looks so weird, and that, then the way that older DOS games let themselves be super weird, and they just kind of, games don't do all that much, unless they, like, go out of their way, but it's like, it's like, they don't go out of their way to be weird, it's just weird was how things were, and that's so cool.